Hi friends, welcome back to this course on uh, on uh, this series of videos on interview questions and answers. You're with me, Arun Sharma, and we are on the Arun Sharma Mindworks channel. And uh, the the question I'm dealing with in in your interview is the question that a lot of, that makes a lot of you uncomfortable about it. Uh, the question is, why should we select you? Why should you be selected? And it's a very important question because whether you they are, you are asked this question or not asked this question. At the bottom line, at the theme of every interview, you'll have this question. They are they are basically only trying to find that. You tumko select kyu karna? Please remember, MBA, the B school interviewer, is not sitting there to reject you. He's sitting here there to select you. So you have to give him reasons for that, whether they ask you this question directly or not. The theme of every B school interview is he's trying to find reasons why you should be selected. And uh, there are three outcomes of an interview. One is he gets enough reasons to select you, then he pick you out no matter pick you up no matter what your profile is and what your other background is. The interviewer has that much veto power uh, in his interview uh, uh, weightage that even if you are falling behind on on academics or uh, or on CAT scores and other parameters, he can take you in if he wants. So one one uh, outcome of an interview is that the second outcome is that okay, give general, give it. The rest of it is okay. It will come. If not, it will not come. I am not taking a decision. And the third one is where you decide that you don't want to This guy is not ready for for my B school. I don't want him in my batch. And the profs are very, very. Uh, the profs in the interview panel are very, very focused on whom I want to take in the batch and whom I don't. They, they don't want to take. They look at the interview, uh, interview as a prospective student in the classroom. They imagine him in the classroom and they try to see that I want to study him or not. So anyway, coming back, uh, why should we select you? How do you answer this question? It's an uncomfortable question. And there's a follow-up question that uh, the guy before you, or, or a parallel question which will make you even more comfortable, uncomfortable. The guy before you was an IIT topper, and he was an IIT top 100 rank, etc. And he was a topper in his college. You have got average academics. Why should we select you? Right. So please remember one thing: that you are not there to be number one in the selection process. You want to get better outcomes than. People who are, I mean, if if there is there's a B school that is going to take 300 students in your category, in let's say in the general category, and there are 300 seats, they will fill those 300 seats, and all you're asking is one seat there. So don't try to compare. Even if they force you to compare, don't compare. Uh, compare with that guy. Say, sir, he might be a great student. I don't know about him. I can tell you what I bring to the table. So the answer has to be focused on who you are, and the answer has to be focused on what you bring to the table. And then you bring in your strengths, weaknesses, right? You you say that I want to be honest with you, that this these are the things that I bring to the table. I mean, what is my? I mean, as as I told you in the other question also, tell us about yourself. You talk about your character traits. You talk about your personality traits. And then the questions which you which you actually want to put a lot of emphasis on, you speak them with emphasis. For example, I was giving that example. I'm I'm a quick learner. I'm a good learner. I'm a quick learner. Or I have an extreme capacity, or I have an extreme capacity to learn anything. I'm a I work hard. I'm a very good, very good, very hard worker, or I have an extreme capacity to work hard. So when the, when you say this, you are then saying that okay, I'm ready to stand out. I'm putting my neck out on this strength. And when I say that I've got an extreme capacity, I have to then prove that I'm better than everybody else whom whom you are seeing here. So if you can do that, that's enough. So even if you catch hold of two three characteristics. And push them through, and things which you are confident that if the second thing comes, if the second question comes, you are able to 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 you will be able to to actually uh, uh, back it up with with examples and and secondary logics. Then you you go ahead and and stick your neck out and three four things, and uh, that should be enough. But ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि I have an extreme capacity to work hard. और तुमसे next question आए कि tell me three instances in your life where you worked very hard and achieved something. And you say you are you are struggling to find even one kind of such instance. So there have to be, as I said, there have to be backup of examples and backup of logic to tell me why you are saying that. And we are not we are not expecting this answer. The interviewer is not expecting an answer. कि तुमको उसके ऊपर क्यों सेलेक्ट कर रहे हैं. So don't don't bother about that comparison, right? You might have a very very average profile. But as I tell people, कि interview के लिए कर जा रहे हो, कोई भी interview के लिए जा रहे हो, तुम्हारे पास छह महीने से एक साल का great काम रहना चाहिए पीछे. Even if you have had very average profile in the last 20 years, one year of great work for the last last one year, and then uh, one year of of transformative work on yourself, 
and then you come and say that this is who I am. So, for example, a student of mine, he's very senior in the corporate sector now, Nishan. Uh, he, uh, in his interview, it was XLRI interview, he had a profile where he was a fifty, I mean, second class, uh, second division student from from uh, Magadh University in Patna, uh, AN College. Three years of graduation, five years only was there because exam didn't happen. And when he went to the interview, his first statement was that, sir, my life was consisted of two parts: the first twenty-one years of mediocrity and the last one year of excellence. So the moment you say something like that in your in your this thing, you you are uh, you are you are immediately all your twenty-one years of mediocrity is wiped out. Because then they will focus on that, on that one year of excellence. And if you can prove it, you are done. So why should we select you, sir? I am a person who believes. And breathes excellence 24/7 in his life, and I believe that I have to be excellent in whatever I do. Okay, prove it. Tell me. I, as an interviewer, my my thought in this in this answer would be किसी ने बोल दिया इसको बोलने के लिए ये actually believe करता है. तो मैं check करूँगा. Tell me when. Tell me how did you get this? I'll look at the background story. How you got this straight? And if I if I'm convinced, you're in. It's as simple as that. So it's it's a make or break question. If you cannot impress someone with this, you come up come up with an answer like that is a tenth standard kid's answer, then you have missed an opportunity, right? So remember that, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, this lesson. You are enjoying this series. I'll be back with you uh, with more questions and answers in this series, and of course with all the other videos. Please do share and do like the channel and do subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Bye.